we've got some great news coming from Norwegian Cruise Line, along with some details of their plan to start cruising again. Stay tuned. Well, ahoy there, cruisers. We're Cruise with Ben and David, and I'm Ben with all of the Norwegian Cruise Line news. Well, after the great news last week that Norwegian will be fine, they now have 18 months of safety net and cash behind them. So that means they're going absolutely nowhere. And this is fantastic news. We are so happy for Norwegian. We absolutely love sailing with Norwegian Cruise Line. They are definitely one of our favorite cruise lines. Anyway, they held a meeting this week to discuss some 2020 quarter one money things. And we learned some new things planned for Norwegian. Norwegian Cruise Line. First of all, before the lockdown, Norwegian was having record bookings and at full capacity, which just shows how great they were doing. Now they're showing losses across the board along with every other cruise line. At this meeting, President and CEO Frank Del Rio gives an insight. First of all, he said that 2020 is a wasted year due to COVID-19. This is hardly surprising. He also said it took decades to build this industry and in a matter of weeks, we dismantled it. It's not going to take decades again to build it up, but it's going to take a little time. He finished off by saying, there's going to be survivors and there's going to be some that don't survive. And that's going to be the success stories and failures. We feel like we'll be one of the success stories. So that's fantastic, isn't it? That Norwegian are going to be one of the success stories. We still don't know which cruise lines are going to fold. It's looking okay for everybody at the moment. Well, lots of things came from that meeting as well as plans to start cruising and we've broken it down into four different points. So number one is definitely making it safe to cruise. This means working closely with the CDC and health authorities around the world. Their number one goal is to get the no sale order by the CDC lifted. They have to put together a strong team to do this, and that's something they've done, to come up with a robust and comprehensive series of protocols that gives the CDC complete confidence that the environment aboard a cruise ship is healthy. Their goal is also to preserve the traditional elements of the cruise experience, so they don't want to make it any different than it is. The great value, the multiple destinations visited, the wide array of dining and entertainment offerings. But some things will need to be modified as necessary as to the many changes we are being accustomed to on land at the moment. Number two, they know it's going to take some time. It's not going to be an overnight thing. They really need to gain the trust of cruisers again, as well as communicating all of these positive changes to all the passengers. They're not just going to do the minimum either. They've said they're going to go above and beyond to make sure that people are as safe as possible. And that's their number one priority, keeping people safe so the crew and passengers on board cruise ships. There's also a big demand for cruising still. A Norwegian have just opened up sailings for 2023. They still think it's going to take up to about eight months until they get anywhere near full capacity again. Number three, so they are going to do a staggered return to cruising. It's going to be a slow start and it will be a real phase in return. Norwegian have said it's almost like starting a company from scratch again and it's going to take years to get back to where it was in 2019. They're planning to just start with five ships then adding five more ships every month. All 28 ships should be running by about five or six months time, but it all depends on a number of things such as the ports and countries. Are they going to be accepting cruise ships? And it also depends on all the logistics around cruising that you don't usually see. So things like restocking the cruises, there's lots of different moving parts that all have to come together for this to happen. And as you know, lots of ships now only have skeleton crews. So the minimum amount of crew to keep the cruise ship working. And it's going to take time to get all of those crew back, get them all fully trained with all of the new procedures and things. All of these things take time. So they don't really have a start date for when all of this is going to happen. Really, they do need to get that no sale order removed first of all. The company has still taken a significant amount of bookings, which means good cash flow, even throughout all of this negative press and everything that they've had. This is so good to hear. We're really happy. And it just shows that cruisers still have confidence. They know that this will pass on soon 
and everything should hopefully get back to normal. And finally, we're going to see some promotions. It'll get more people cruising at the beginning, things like including airfare to get people to cruise ports. They're showing a demand, especially in Asia and Europe, which is really good. This means people have no problem with flying into cruise ports. So you need to look out for those really good cruise deals because there could be some really good ones just to get people cruising again. So what do you think about this? Do you think this is a good move from Norwegian Cruise Line? We think that it's fantastic news and it's a real positive movement towards us starting cruising again. As we said in our last video about things like social distancing not working, what kind of things could work? Do you have any suggestions? If you have any good ideas, we'd pass them forward to Cruise Lines. But let us know all of your comments in the description, in the comments section below. As you know, we love to hear from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're bringing you all of the latest news straight away. So we've got it here first. So hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified when we upload a brand new video. And thank you so much to all of our patrons as well. You can find out about becoming a patron in the description section below. We give you loads of good stuff in return, like behind the scenes videos, extra content, as well as a podcast every two weeks. And our captain of the week is Gavin. So ahoy there, Gavin. That's it till next time. Happy cruising.